Hello everyone, here's a, a short presentation for Ferret Marker uh, that is a script for After Effects that helps you tracking down values within the timeline, within any property and it will add markers on them. For example, you want to know when the position equals 100 so you click on add markers and there will be markers every time position equals 100. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, so that's the Google Chrome dinosaur game that I recreated on After Effects with the same sprites. So you can see the dinosaur uh, is running through the obstacle, it's, it is not reacting. So we free the marker, we will track down the exposition of all the cactus so just by, by selecting it. Position, position here. Okay, and uh, I already told him that we want to, to seek the 1200 position and put a cactus label on it. So we'll add markers first on layer so you can see what's going on, okay? And then we'll add it on composition for the automation to work. So you see cactus, every time a cactus sees its position equal 1200, there's a marker. So this time we're going to add it on composition because there's an expression on the dinosaur that recognizes these cactus markers and jump every time there's a marker. So that's the idea. We can also do it for the birds. Here, for, uh, when there's a bird, it shouldn't jump because they are too high in the sky. So uh, we will track down the, the y value of, uh, uh, not the y value, sorry, but the x value. Uh, this time we will put bird as a label and add markers. When there's a bird on the way, now the dinosaur knows that he should lay down to avoid it, okay? So it's automatic and it's very fast. Okay, uh, I will not break down the expression that I use on the dinosaur because uh, it would be too long and so that's not the purpose of the video. Uh, that's why we're going inside Viscom here and just very simply, you can see there are several animations going on at the same time that rotation animation and also position animation. So we want to know when uh, rotation equals uh, 20, for example. You see it's, it's wiggling to, to the left and to the right like this. Uh, we want to know when rotation equals 20, so we will put 20 in the target value. Uh, label should be uh, property name equals value, so these are variables that you can use, all the variables that you can use to, to customize the label. They are here in the help uh, ferret marker uh, help uh, section and let's add markers on layer and boom here this every time rotation equals 20 there's a marker so it can be very useful for editing video for putting sound effects at the right time you know uh, music video uh, video editing uh, there can be a lot of use cases so you will see also that rotation uh, marker is placed exactly on spot, you know, it's not on the frame exactly, but it's exactly where uh, 20 uh, is supposed to be. So maybe uh, um, for some reason you want these markers to be exactly on spot above the frame. So we'll change the sampling method to round it linear and swap and voila, rotation equals 20 uh, right on the frame. There are also some other sampling methods that you you can see what they do in the help section also, uh, but I'm I'm just going to, to use cubic spline to uh, to find every time that value equals fifty, and we will change the variable to index and swap. And you see one two three four, so that's the index variable. That's what it does. And, uh, every time the rotation equals fifty, there's a marker. Uh, it works also with negative number minus 50, swap, and voila. We'll change the label to value. So we know exactly what's going on, okay? You don't have to swap all the time, you know? Uh, you can just add markers and it will add on top of them. So you know when it equals 50, minus 50, 50, minus 50. Okay. Uh, another example, so let's delete them with this button. It's for the position. Uh, if you want to track the, the y-axis, you don't have to separate dimensions. 
just use the second text box was for the y axis and the first text box is for the z axis. So we want to know when the position equals um, 450, y position, add markers, 450. Let's go back to our original label, property name equals value and add. Okay, now it's better and also you can see position one, one stands for the dimension, you know, so one is for y axis and zero is for x axis. Uh, but that's a detail. Okay, position, uh, maybe we want to know when position equals uh, 1200 and we'll put some decimals on it because red marker is very precise. It can handle a lot of decimal and it's still very fast. It add markers. And voila, here we have two moments where position uh, the x-axis equals zero. So I'm, I'm also going to use uh, swap so it will delete the rotation markers. That's the idea. Uh, so I hope you will find this tool helpful in your workflow. Uh, uh, okay, it's free, it's open source, so feel free to, to send me updates, feedbacks. It's always very much appreciated. So thank you for listening.